Hey guys, well, good news for Paul. Your T Gigas has molted. It looks very beautiful. And speaking of more T Gigas, Mr. Leahy has done me well. The female has dropped an egg sac and it hatched. Sweet. So uh, I don't know exactly how many e eggs, well, spiderlings that they are. Uh, Amanda says around 50. So, uh, I'll be good, so I'll get 25, depending on how much the egg sacs are. It's kind of typical, and uh, kind of figured it would be around that much. So that's why I'm postponing the Tea Canada visit video to uh, two weeks so I can go pick them up. Alrighty, so now enough of me blabbering. So we go up to all the teas. Here's where we go back to 82. Large tea blondie drinking water. Alrighty, let's go. Last Eudora de Facilis, the Brazilian Fire Red Bird Eater. Oh yeah, fail feeding attempt, of course. Threat posture as always. And you can see the fangs almost sticking out. Very mean. Anyways, uh, we have some bad news. Uh, don't have many crickets, so I'm only going to uh, give one tea, one cricket. Oh yeah, definitely mean. Test disc. Now that she's perfectly erect or upright, you can try to sex it and you can see uh, the spermatheci right in the middle. So it means this is a female. Awesome. Okay, this tea will eat. Um, mature female, Samopoeus camergi, Trinidad Chevron. Check out that abdomen, <laughs> really fat and healthy. Haplopama hinanum, uh, Chinese bird eater. Or Chinese earth tiger. Common names, I don't like them. There we go. <laughs> Peekaboo. Okay, Mirabel, Lassidora parahibana, Brazilian pink salmon bird eater. Good girl. Let's try a hard-hitting Pomphibetus platyama, Brazilian pink bloom bird eater. Okay, what he looks like? Okay. That was cool. My little blue pet hole, Haplopama lovinum, cobalt blue. Her name is Midna. Smack. There we go. I don't know if we can see this one. This one is Mario. Uh, one of my G pull stripes that I transferred a while back. Or maybe two weeks ago, so. Ah, there we go. You got it. Alright, Lawrence, your turn. Lassidora Power Habana, Salmon Bird Eater. It's my larger one. He's a male. Contact. Oh, he missed. That's all I need. He'll sense it with his hair. See? Told you. Very healthy Sarah Tajaris Marshali, Straight Horn Baboon. Her name is Marsha. Alright, Isabella, your turn. Femictibus concerides, Haitian brown bird eater. There we go. And my go, heart goes out to uh, the people in Haiti with the massive earthquake that they had a couple of days ago. What a shame. Esmeralda made a little burrow for herself. Uh, Ephopus udeman, emerald skeleton. Blur. Helobrachis frimbriatus, the Indian violet. Wow. She's sure settled down in her home. 
So maybe we can get her to go and eat. Ah, oh, there she comes. There she comes. Well, that Kirkus sure is gone. Literally. Pocotheria ornata, the fringed ornamental. Uh, the sling. Oh, awesome. You got it. <laughs> you gotta love your pokies, that's for sure. Alright, Princess Peach. Grandma Sola Pull Stripes, Choco Goldeny. Ah, uh, this is a little female. Cool. Now let's feed Wendy, my second sling. She's actually pretty mean than Peach. So, see her tag a cricket? There she goes. Cool. Alright, here's Trinity. Um, Thirxopalma Ocarty, the Peru flame rump. Ah, uh, there we go. She almost tried to escape there, but she's a looker, that's for sure. Pocotheria Peters and I, Ghost Ornamental. Yeah, I think she got it. Looks like it. Cool. Grandma Sola Rosea. Slash Pottery, Chilean Rose. You can get Italia. Oh, it's in the back. Sweet. Here's Tetra, Vicolaria Versicolor, and Tilly's Pink Toe. Yeah, she grabbed it. Cool. Oh, I'll just show you the light. There she is. Oh, just got Pandora to eat. Lothera regalis, seen in ornamental. Cool. Alrighty, now Drusilla's turn. The biggest tea blondie that I have. Maybe the fattest tea blondie that I own. Drusilla Theraposa blondie, Goliath bird eater. I'm only giving her two because I really don't have enough crickets to feed the other ones. But yeah, she's pretty huge. I mean, good size admin. Uh, not quite yet in pre -mold. Black lines are on the legs. Uh, yeah, she's due for a molt. Pretty humongous tea. And you can see she's on her water, she's just trumps over it. You can see how big she is. Anyways, let's go feed the rest. Ashley could use some crickets. Nandu Tripepi, Giant Strawberry Blonde Bird Eater. Boom. Alright, hope you can see Theraphosa Blondi, Goliath Bird Eater. This is Gretel. About a ten and a half inch specimen. Female. There's one. There we go. She's awesome. Gramsola pull stripes, Chaco Goldeny. You can see there's a little five inch sub adult female. Here's one, I'll give a second one. Yeah, I just missed the attack. She got it. <sighs> really huge specimen, though. Raki Palma Abopulosum, Honduras Curly Hair. Curly Sue. Yeah, there's no stopping Sue from eating uh, a lot of crickets. Raki Palma Smithy, Mexican Red Knee. 
<laughs> Gorgeous. It's Ludwig, a huge mature male Polcletheria ornata, the fringe ornamental. Check how green he is. That is a huge male. The second one. Wow. Gorgeous. Wow, never seen a Nornata that green before. Yep, very cool. Poclotheria Metallica, Goody Sapphire Ornamental. I named her Mia, but uh, I think this is a male. There we go. Here is Max, Bracky Palma Vagans, mature male, Mexican red rump. There we go. <laughs> Chilling on her uh, PCV pipe is uh, Sasha, my Acanthus Curia Brocklehursty. Giant white banded. Very, very fat female. Very similar to the Genicolata, except this guy has a bit more red hairs on the abdomen. But she's a looker. Poclothera Formosa Salem Ornamental. There we go. She almost escaped there. She's sweet. Here's uh, Poclothera Safasca Lowland Ivory Ornamental Charmaine. Yeah, she did the naughty thing with her water dish. Overflow it with earth. Looks like she got the cricket. Yep. Yeah. Now let's do the Rufalata. It's the last one. Alright, the Red Slate Ornamental. Pocotheria Rufalata. Caitlin. I don't think she's interested. Yeah, she'll probably eat after I stop filming. <laughs> Most of my teas usually do. But she's a nice one. So, two hours later, they're all complete. All the teas are fed. Even though I didn't record most of them since uh, they weren't uh, interested in eating. So, people are asking me how often do I feed my teas? Well. Whenever you see a new tarantula feeding video up, that's when I feed them. So, 35 will probably be about between a week and 10 days from now. So once again, sorry for the delay of Tarantula Canada. So um, when I go there in two weeks from now, we're going to film and uh, show you the T. gigas uh, slings that I probably I'm going to get. So, hope you enjoy it and uh, have a nice day.